Sometimes DMZ isn't all about killing and murdering and stealing. Sometimes it's about getting some little animal collectibles and giving them to a shopkeeper who just really wants them. And yeah, I mean, to be fair, you are probably stealing these and you probably will kill a bunch of people on the way. But that's not the point. This is about someone who just loves animals. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the pet rescue mission. This is a redacted tier five mission in DMZ. We just finished tier five for redacted. The last mission, I'm still undecided as to whether to do a guide for it or not, because it's super simple and straightforward. Whereas this one, just from reading the mission description, is actually maybe a tiny bit trickier. Maybe some people will need some help with this. So I'll show you how to get it done quickly. If you like this video, if you enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So first things first, you want to get the dog bank and the cat statue. These are two items that you can only find on a Sheikah Island. So you want to load into a Sheikah Island and basically just get searching. We only managed to find these in lockers, but I have been told that you can also find them in duffel bags. So just run around, try to open every single locker you possibly can. We did one entire game on Sheikah Island where we searched every building in all of residential and then we went through every stronghold in port and we did some of the buildings in the castle and through all of that we just found two cat statues. We didn't find any dog banks at all. So this could be a pretty tricky step for some people. It's just kind of RNG. The second time we went into a Sheikah Island where we wanted to get the dog bank, we just sort of went in one building and immediately found it. And then there was an exfil right nearby. So we got super lucky with that, which was pretty nice. One good thing about these items is that since this mission's been included, they've turned into mission items, which means you don't need a secure bag or anything like that. You can just pick them up, extract with them, and then if you need to go back in for something else, you can actually take them out of your bag, just store them in your mission item storage, and then get them back into your bag when you're ready to go. So once you've managed to find both the cat statue and the doggy bank, and I'm sorry I can't give you more help with those, it is just go to a Sheikah and open up a bunch of lockers. If it helps, we found the doggy bank in farms, that's where we got our one from, and the cat statue we found over in port. So maybe that'll help you, but I think it's probably properly random. But once you've got them, you can store them in your mission items. And then it really helps if you've got one of those L2 access cards. So these are cards that you can buy from the shop within Koshai Complex. Sometimes you can just loot them from Koshai Complex and you get them as rewards from some of the missions. So if you've got one of those, that's going to make getting out of this mission much, much easier. And I'm going to show you a method where we had one of those cards. So make sure you get set up to go into Al Masra and you've got the cat statue, you've got the doggy bank, and you've got an L2 access card, and then you're going to be ready to go. I am going to show you a method of getting in and out where you'll be so fast, you probably won't come across any other players. And that's a really good thing because out of the five games that we played today in DMZ, where we went into Koshai Complex, Four of those had a, the platoon warning, you know, where it says, hey, there's a platoon nearby. That means there's a six-man squad nearby, or at least more than three-man. And that happened, like I said, in 80% of the games that we played today. One of those games, they killed us. The other times, we managed to avoid them. But it just seems unbelievably unfair to have them in. I, to be honest, don't really understand why you can assimilate into squads bigger than three. It was kind of a bit of a fun novelty at first, but now it just feels incredibly unfair especially probably because we play as a duo most of the time but yeah please please don't go into koshai complex with six people it just ruins it for absolutely everybody else but once you've got all that stuff sorted so just to recap you've got the l2 access card you've got the cat statue you've got the doggy bank then you're going to load into our masra and when you go into our masra you're going to be trying to head into the bunker entrance that's just beneath this bridge between Tarak Village and Al Masra City. That's the one we're going to because we're going to head into the flooded barracks. We got incredibly lucky again with this. We just happened to spawn super near this entrance. But in this case, you don't really need anything else from Al Masra. So you can just go straight there. Minimize the amount of time that you're running around with that cat statue and doggy bank. Because obviously, if you die while you're carrying it, Unless you've got a secure backpack, you're going to be losing them and you're going to need to go find another one. So try to make sure that doesn't happen. Once you've gone into the bunker entrance, so it's just below the bridge, go through the cave and then you'll be able to find it at the back. Then you can load into Koshai Complex into the flooded barracks. 
This part of the guide is going to be very similar to my video about how to find the shopkeeper in the first place. But basically, you want to go through the flooded barracks and find the two barracks exit keys. So normally, when you first go in, if you just go to the right of the first kind of flooded corridor, you should be able to find the key somewhere in here. I think maybe it could spawn on the left, but it just seems to spawn on the right more often than not for us. You can normally see it because it has kind of a bluish glow. A couple of times we've seen it where it didn't have that glow for whatever reason. But just look around at all of the items that have spawned. And if there's a tiny little one, go up to it to check if it's a key. In this first area along this first corridor, you'll be able to find the first key. Then for the second one, you want to get into this area where you'll fight the first guards in here, where there's all the laser trip mines, and you'll see this plywood wall, throw a piece of Semtex on there and blow it up, and then you can go through here into a properly flooded area. And this is quite a tricky little area to get through, really, because you're looking for another key. This is where the second key is, but it could be absolutely anywhere, including the room right at the end which is quite difficult to get to if you don't have a rebreather. You need to kind of swim there, have a quick look around, and then get back immediately. If you see the key, but you don't think you've got enough time to get it, just swim back, get some breath, and now you can go in a straight line to it and hopefully get it. We, again, were quite lucky and managed to get the key really, really easily in this area, but this can be a little tricky part. Once you've got both keys, then you can just move through, go into the next area so you just kind of climb out of this section, and then you go into another flooded area and then to get out of this one you want to go through the right hand door and then you should be able to see another door that's kind of heading in the same direction go through that one and there'll be a little breathing space in the ceiling that you can see here then after you've had a breather you go through the next door in this room through another room go through the next door and then you'll see a hole in the ceiling that you're going to climb through and this is the secret exit that will take you to the factory admin area where the shop is you're going to need those two keys that you found earlier to unlock it once you've gone through there you've unlocked it then you're going to go into the main room you should be able to see on the left there's kind of a big wall that's got a couple of doors around it go around the corner and you should see the big sign for the shop there'll be a few guards around here but if you've done all of this quite quickly and you haven't wasted time trying to loot or anything in the first bit you should be beating any other players here i'm not sure if there's another route where other players can get here faster than you can once you get to the shop you just want to drop that cat statue and the doggy bank into the drop the dead drop that's just there and then as soon as you do that and close it the intel that you need the note that you need to grab will actually pop out of it and that's the thing that you need to extract now you've got kind of two routes if you don't have an l2 access card then you're going to have to head back into kind of the main area and try to use one of the extractions there you're probably going to need night vision goggles to do that you can go back to the flooded barracks if you want to loot up and stuff like that and then just go through the normal exit if you want or if you've got that l2 access card you can just go up the steps onto the balcony and then follow the left wall around until you find these blue double doors and this is the route to a kind of secret exit you'll have to fight through a few guards here there's a few shield enemies and quite a lot of armored guards that are a bit tough but once you fight through them and go up the stairs you'll be able to get to an extra elevator that will be like a new extraction point that again there probably won't be any players here and once you've extracted with that note you have completed the mission pet rescue you have managed to give the shopkeeper exactly what he wanted so hopefully this video was entertaining if it was don't forget to leave a like or if it was useful for you trying to complete this mission and for your next video why don't you check out my daily podcast each episode's only an hour long i release them every weekday morning at 9 a.m i record them live here on youtube but then you can listen to the vods or you can listen to it over on spotify or itunes or things like that so click one of the links that should be on your screen now and you can check out the podcast see you for the next one goodbye